Let's review the top 10 most popular diaper brands out there. Keep watching to see how yours measures up. I'm a toxicologist, and here's my review of the 10 most popular disposable diaper brands. The purpose of this video is to help you protect your little ones from environmental toxins that you may want to know about. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video every single week about low tox lifestyle, babies, beauty, and more. Some of these brands have been in the rotation for my own kids and I love helping new and aspiring moms protect their little ones from environmental chemicals. And just a quick reminder that the purpose of this video is to educate and inform you based on the information obtained from my diaper brand investigation based on the safety, materials, transparency, and sustainability of these diaper brands. This is not a review on how well the diapers work or the cost. So you'll have to experiment to find out what works best for your family. This is also not to bash or judge brands or what products people want to use. This is purely educational and informational. Let's get into it. First, what are non-toxic diapers? The general idea behind a non-toxic diaper is that it is safer, more gentle, and therefore healthier for your baby than conventional diapers. Mainstream diapers can be a cocktail of synthetic petrochemical derived materials like polypropylene, polyethylene, and super absorbent polymers like sodium polyacrylate. In 2019, the French Agency for Food, Environmental, and Occupational Health and Safety published a report mentioning that up to 90% of babies who use disposable diapers could be harmed. This is because there were several scientific papers published showing that disposable diapers can contain toxic chemicals like formaldehyde, endocrine disrupting phthalates, and heavy metals. Some of these are contaminants of the manufacturing process, whereas others are intentionally added, such as lotions, fragrances, dyes to create vivid patterns, wetness indicator chemicals, and more. And it can definitely be tricky for consumers to decipher which brands are safer based on the heavy marketing. And greenwashing has become a huge issue in the past decade or so since consumers are now demanding safer and healthier products for their families. Some of the telltale signs of greenwashing can include marketing buzzwords like pure, natural, green colors in the logo, pictures of plants, to give you the impression that a product is more safer or natural or sustainable than it actually is. The marketing is pretty meaningless when you take a look at the data as a whole, showing that even though manufacturers are responsible for ensuring that their products are safe, clearly there are still toxic chemicals in them. So really what good is all of this marketing? Diapers are not tightly regulated and manufacturers, even though they should be the ones making sure their products are safe, are looking out for their bottom line. So unfortunately, it is up to us as consumers to take the responsibility to vet these products and hold these brands accountable to make safe products. You might be wondering what is the point or why you should you even use a non-toxic diaper for your baby? A baby's diaper area can absorb more chemicals than skin on other areas of their body simply because of the fact that it is generally covered up, moist, and has friction where the materials rub up against the skin in that area. All of these factors can increase the rate and amount of chemicals absorbed into the body. When chemicals are absorbed in the diaper area where the reproductive organs are located, they can circumvent or bypass first pass metabolism or liver detoxification. So chemicals absorbed in this area comprise a high risk. Toxic exposure early in life can have lifelong consequences since a baby's body is still growing and developing. This is why avoiding these types of chemical exposures can help to reduce your baby's toxic burden. What should I look for in a non-toxic diaper? The consumer product landscape is full of landmines. In this case, greenwashing diaper brands use unsubstantiated claims to fool you and dupe you into believing that their products are safer, healthier, or more sustainable than they actually are. The best brands are transparent, can back up their claims, and are using more plant-derived materials as opposed to petroleum derivatives. Every disposable diaper has synthetic materials, which are unavoidable, but there are some options that contain more biodegradable plant materials than petroleum derivatives, which I go over in this video right here. For each brand that we review in today's video, we will discuss the pros and cons for each brand based on the information that I could obtain 
from their website and from contacting them directly. Just a reminder to take what I am presenting at face value. Do your own research and find what works best for you. There are many components and layers of materials in a diaper. So what we're talking about is the diaper as a whole, the brand, and the overall business practices of these companies. Because just looking at one part of the diaper is insufficient to really make a safety call. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever researched diaper materials before, because I'm super curious to know what you found. These are the criteria used to score these diaper brands. First is ingredients. We're looking at the transparency, the safety, the source or starting material, and how these materials were processed. Number two are the diaper features, such as the presence of fragrances or scents, lotions, wetness indicator chemicals, and inks or dyes that are used to create prints and patterns on the diapers. And number three, is the brand and marketing. We need to know if these brands are responsive, if they're open to sharing, and if the claims match up with the documentation and if they could substantiate their claims. Let's start out with the brands that are at the bottom. They need the most improvement and have the most amount of petroleum-derived materials in their diapers. They were also not transparent and contain a synthetic top sheet, which is the part that comes in direct contact with your baby's diaper area. We're also going to look at the materials used in the absorbent core, and there's evidence to suggest that some of these chemicals can actually migrate outward from the core of the diaper and reach your baby skin. Just a quick note on pulp. Pulp is usually a cellulose or wood fiber or plant material. They usually call it fluff, which is used in conjunction with sodium polyacrylate to create an absorbent core. Most of these are bleached, traditionally using chlorine, which can increase the amount of toxic dioxins that are formed in the process. Manufacturers then switch to elemental chlorine-free or ECF, which uses chlorine dioxide to bleach the diapers. And then we have total chlorine free or TCF, which uses hydrogen peroxide, ozone, or other forms of oxygen to create the bright white pulp. According to the industry, this is the best choice. However, the issues with TCF are that there is no way to really confirm that there's absolutely no chlorine or no dioxin formation unless they can provide test reports showing that they actually measured these compounds in the diaper fluff, which by the way, most brands aren't doing. So take the TCF claim with a grain of salt. So the first brand in the bottom is Hello Bello. This brand never replied to any of my email inquiries on their website. They sent an automated email confirmation when I submitted my request, but there was no follow-up and I submitted another one and still no follow-up. The only pro that I could find about this brand is that they are claiming again TCF pulp, which is seemingly a better option, but again, yet to be seen because they never replied. The cons of Hello Bello diapers are that they are likely using a petroleum-derived top sheet material because there is no mention of plant materials on their website. Something that I found strange was that they use a wetness indicator only for newborn up to size two diapers, which is actually counterintuitive and backwards when it comes to safety, given the fact that newborns are much more sensitive to toxic exposure than a larger baby is simply just based on weight alone. And they're also using an undisclosed, unspecified dye for their all over bright prints, which more likely than not are petroleum derivatives made from coal tar, likely azo dyes, and the issue with these dyes are that they can have heavy metal contamination, as well as carcinogens. A quick note on wetness indicators. These are, in my opinion, entirely unnecessary. You can literally feel your baby's diaper to see if it is kind of bulging, and you'll know if there is wetness or moisture in there. Another trick is that you can simply stick your finger in it. That's probably not the best or cleanest option that a lot of parents might want to do, but it works. And the other option is to pay attention to your baby's behavior right around the time that they are going to use the restroom. Sometimes babies will squirm and squiggle and make little faces so you can kind of sort of understand and see when they're about to use the restroom. This is called elimination communication. And some parents even use this to avoid using diapers altogether from birth. All right, the second worst diaper brand is Pampers Pure Protection. The only pro of this brand is that they claim to be using TCF pulp. Here are the cons. They did not answer my questions when I submitted a form on their website. 
They simply regurgitated the information that was on their website. They didn't provide any additional information and it seemed to be an automated response. It was totally unhelpful and they get an F for transparency. They're likely using a petroleum derived top sheet an ambiguous odor absorber, which we have no idea what substances or chemicals are in this odor absorber. If there are fragrances, endocrine disruptors, allergens, we simply have no clue. So for that reason alone, they get a red flag. They also have undisclosed wetness indicator chemicals and undisclosed unspecified inks. Again, more likely than not, azo dyes. So Pampers Pure gets a thumbs down. The next brand that came in at the bottom is Millie Moon. The pros are none. They're actually using ECF or elemental chlorine free processing of their pulp. So it's more likely than not still contaminated with dioxins. They never responded to my emails. So we have no idea whether or not they're even testing for dioxins. Probably not because if they were, they would be very proudly showing off this information. They get an F for transparency and responsiveness. Again, another petroleum derived top sheet, ECF, fluff, not TCF, unspecified inks and unspecified wetness indicator chemicals. And the next brand in the bottom category is Honest Brand. The only pro is that they claim to use TCF pulp. I did get an email reply saying that they are escalating my inquiry, but I never heard back and I followed up again and still never heard back. So they get again an F for transparency and responsiveness. Similar issues with the other brands in the bottom category are the petroleum derived top sheet, the unspecified inks, unspecified wetness indicator chemicals, and they even go as far to include an ambiguous citrus odor inhibitor, which again, I didn't get any information on because it's not on their website and they didn't respond. And another note on these prints that you can find on their diapers. Honest Brand is known for their vivid, brightly colored prints. A lot of parents seem to like them because they look cute. Just so you know, these prints are completely useless and unnecessary. They are literally only for aesthetics. They have no effect on the functionality of the diaper and in fact, increase the risk simply because of the source and origin of these dyes. There's too much of a risk and no benefit whatsoever. All right, let's get into the brands that came in at the better category. So this is the middle of the pack. This is not at the top, not at the bottom. They're better, but they could still improve. The first brand in the better category is Coterie. The pro that I could find is that they claim to use TCF pulp instead of ECF. The great news about this brand is that they actually tested their diapers for contaminants, which I was able to confirm and verify that the contaminants are low and within safety limits. The cons of Coterie are that they are using petroleum derived materials in their diapers. There's very little mention of plant composition and I couldn't get a straight answer as to how much of the diaper is actually plant derived aside from the fluff. They also use an unspecified wetness indicator. They couldn't tell me what was in it. They told me what was not in it, which is only kind of helpful. Again, we need to know what's in it in order to make a safety call. The biggest issue that I found with this brand is that they go out of their way to mention that they have done safety testing on their diapers and they have an entire page dedicated to the safety report, which they mention publishing. However, on this page, all I could find was a description of the types of chemicals that they tested. There was no report to be seen. And when I reached out, there was a lot of pushback as to what I needed this report for, if I was affiliated with competitor diaper brands and why I need this information. My inquiry was escalated and I did get a response, thankfully, but the response that I received were very vague snapshots of chemical readouts or the re results of the chemical testing but it wasn't clear which part of the diaper was being tested. We need to know the name of the company, the name of the product or the type of product, the specific parts of the diaper that were tested and the levels and identity, the cast number or the chemical abstracts services registry number of these chemicals that they tested in order to really have a full picture of what's going on. Just giving a snapshot of a chemical readout is so vague. We have no idea what we're looking at. That's like giving you one tiny piece of the puzzle and trying to tell you to put together a whole picture. It just doesn't make any sense. And it was really difficult to interpret. It was impossible to interpret. And just so you know, if a company tells you that their test reports are confidential, this is BS. Test reports are not confidential. If a company has gone out of their way to actually conduct and pay for testing on their diapers, 
to verify and validate the safety, there is no reason why it should be considered confidential. In the end, this brand does check out. I was able to verify the test reports, but they're lacking in transparency and they rely on petroleum derivatives for their diaper materials, which is not sustainable and therefore they're not my topic. The next brand in the better category is Kudos. The pros are that they use a cotton top sheet in their diapers, which is the only brand so far that I've seen that uses actual cotton instead of some sort of synthetic or even a plant-derived plastic type material. Their website is extremely transparent. They even go as far to outline every single layer of their diaper and what the materials are, which is extremely rare. So kudos to them. The cons of this brand are that they did not follow up to my email inquiries. So they did respond to the initial inquiry, but I never heard back from them when I asked about which layers of the diaper are plant derived. What is the percentage of plant materials? What is the chemical that is used in the wetness indicator? They didn't respond. So unfortunately, the responsiveness is still lacking. They did respond to an Instagram DM from one of our followers where she specifically asked about the glyphosate residues in the cotton top sheet, because that is a legitimate concern. Up to 89 or 90% of cotton in the U.S. is sprayed with glyphosate, which has carcinogen concerns. In their DM reply, they mentioned that the cotton is sprayed with glyphosate before the cotton fibers are formed and gave some sort of rationale for why the glyphosate may or may not be found in the final product that you're putting on your baby. But it was weak and unfounded because we still haven't received a response and therefore we're not able to verify Ocotex certification, which does measure glyphosate residues and does apply a limit to them. Another con of this brand is a low percentage of plant-derived materials and it seems like they're using more petroleum derivatives than anything else. Another red flag is the predominant use of azo dyes to create brightly colored patterns. Their rationale behind this is for babies' brain development to see these bright colors. But I'm curious to know how many of your babies or how many babies do you know of that are consistently or staring at their diapers for extended periods of time to be able to get this sort of benefit. More often than not, a baby's diaper is covered up, so this rationale just seems odd and it doesn't make sense. And again, diaper prints are completely unnecessary. They provide no functional benefit whatsoever to the diaper and comprise a risk. They also, again, have an unspecified wetness indicator chemical because, again, unless I receive a response, we have no idea what we're dealing with, so they get a red flag. This brand could really jump up in the ratings if they switch to a GOTS or Global Organic Textile Standard certified organic cotton top sheet and remove the azo dyes and the unnecessary wetness indicator. But unfortunately, they're lacking in responsiveness and therefore still have unsubstantiated claims. So that's why they are not one of the topics. The next brand in the better diaper category is diaper brand. The pros are they're using a bamboo top sheet, TCF pulp, and 55% of their materials are plant derived or biodegradable. I was also able to confirm Ogotex certification, which is a plus. The cons are that they do use a wetness indicator and the production of bamboo textiles can result in the formation of toxic waste. But on the other hand, it is more sustainable and renewable than cotton since it doesn't require chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and it grows at a rapid rate. If I was in a pinch and needed to grab diapers from the store, I would choose diaper brand. I've seen this brand at Walmart, which is great, but be sure to check with your specific location to make sure they carry it. But in stores, Diaper is probably the best brand that you'll find. And generally speaking, products online are more low tox than products in stores. Another brand that made it into the better category is Bamboo Nature. The pros are that they claim to have TCF pulp. They are Ocotex certified, which I was able to validate. They were one of only three brands that actually shared their full test reports and were completely transparent and responsive. So they get an A for responsiveness and transparency. But if I had to make a comment about it, I would suggest that they post the test results on their website to make it extremely easy for consumers to vet. The cons of Bamboo Nature are that they are using 
petroleum derived plastic materials, which are not ideal, not sustainable. Therefore, they're not my top pick. And the last brand that made it into the better category is Healthy Baby. They're also making the TCF pulp claim. They also have plant derived materials in almost every layer from what I could gather. And they are EWG verified, which is a plus, but I don't put a lot of weight on these verifications because as a toxicologist, the only way for me to make an educated and informed safety judgment is to look at the actual full test reports. I don't go based off of other verifications because generally speaking, their standards are not strict enough. The cons of healthy baby diapers are that I received different information from the website via email. They do get an A plus for at least transparency and responsiveness, but the information doesn't line up. So that is still leaving a lot of questions unanswered. They do use a tiny amount of Azo dyes to put their logo on the diapers, which again is unnecessary. They didn't fully answer my questions, unfortunately, and instead referred me to their EWG verification. But as I've mentioned, I'm a toxicologist. Verifications don't mean anything to me because I form my own safety judgments. And for that reason, they don't get my stamp of approval. And now for the brand that came in at the top spot, there I wish there were more brands in the best category, but unfortunately only one made it. But fortunately, unfortunately, at least one made it, which is awesome. The brand that is my number one top pick, again, is Eco Originals out of Australia. This is the only diaper brand that I could find that does not have wetness indicator chemicals, does not use dyes or inks, and uses up to 90% plant-based materials, making it the most sustainable and biodegradable option that I found for disposable diapers. Not to mention, they were the only brand that were completely transparent, completely responsive, and shared the full test report of their diapers just after one request. Their website mentions no nasty chemicals have been found in their diapers. So I thought to verify this claim. And fortunately, I'm so glad to announce that they shared their full test report, their full chemical analysis of their diapers for contaminants. This is the only brand out of all 10 brands in this review that ticks all the boxes in terms of material and ingredient safety, processing, transparency, and sustainability, as well as responsiveness. One of the other factors that's important to consider when vetting a diaper brand or any brand for that matter is whether or not they are continuously looking to improve their products and make them even safer and even more sustainable, more accessible and more affordable to more people. And I can confirm that Eco Originals is ticking all these boxes and I think all diaper brands should take a page from their playbook. Some of the cons of Eco Originals are that they use a cornstarch PLA, which is a plant derived plastic material. That's the top sheet that's coming in direct contact with your baby skin. The good news is that even though they are using this cornstarch PLA, the levels of phthalates and bisphenols for this layer tested below the limit of detection. Another seemingly con or red flag of Eco Originals is the fact that they claim ECF or elemental chlorine free for their pulp instead of TCF. Something that we need to confirm and still need to find more information on is whether or not TCF is a legitimate claim. For the brands that three brands that actually shared their test reports, it does seem to be a legitimate claim. However, in the abundance of safety, Eco Originals has chosen not to claim TCF, even though they are not using any chlorine in the processing of their diapers. Not to mention, Eco Originals is the only brand that I have found that were conservative when it comes to making claims that they can't justify or substantiate, meaning that they are the most transparent brand that I have found that is actually making sure they are not overstating the benefits of their products. The only improvement that I would make to Eco Originals diapers is switching from a PLA top sheet to an organic GOTS certified cotton top sheet. That is the only improvement that I would recommend for Eco Originals. The good news is that they said they're looking into it. So hopefully in the future, maybe they can make the switch I don't know if it will actually function well in a diaper or not, but seeing as other brands are actually using cotton as a top sheet, I don't see why it wouldn't be. So the good news is that Eco Originals has solidified their top spot according to my top diaper brand picks. You can find Eco Originals linked in the description box below.
As you can see, there are no perfect diaper brands, so you be the judge. Take what I've shared at face value and do your own research to find what works best for your kids. The safest options when it comes to reusable or cloth diapering are organic natural fibers for the inner layer of the baby's diaper, which are cotton, hemp, or wool. I recommend avoiding synthetic materials for the outer cover, which keeps the liquid from the absorbent part of the diaper from leaking out and getting your baby's legs wet. These more often than not are made from synthetic materials like polyester, which I do not recommend, especially for an undergarment. These can shed microplastics and can contain endocrine disruptors like BPA. So this is something that I would avoid for my child. I have seen organic wool outer diaper covers that are lanolinized or naturally occurring sheep's wool has lanolin, which is what gives it that waterproof effect or waterproof sort of capability. Over time, that can get washed away as we launder the wool pieces. So it's important to re lanolize or reapply the lanolin to the wool. And there are videos out there that you can find of parents showing you how to do this. I haven't personally done it myself, but if I were to diaper my kids, that's what I would do. Being a parent is stressful enough and I totally get it. I've got two kids going through all the phases of development and diapering. This is not an easy task at all. So even if your diapers that you're currently using or have used in the past aren't at the top of the list, don't fret and don't worry about it. It's really about the long-term chronic exposures that we experience over a lifetime. But in the early years of life, these chemical exposures can have lifelong consequences. So really being careful early on as much as you can to the best of your ability within your budget, that's what you should go with. Individual or short-term exposures won't necessarily make a big difference in the scheme of your entire life. So again, don't stress, just do the best that you can. And if you can only afford to go with a disposable diaper, consider the cost of a disposable diaper versus a reusable diaper over the several years of your child's diapering career. So if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe and like button and share with your friends. And if you want more juicy tips, subscribe to the Low Tox Tuesdays email series created by a toxicologist to help you completely detox your home the easy way. You can find it in the description below. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.